What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Super Bass Bros. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we are doing a how-to video, which if you guys are familiar with the channel, know that it is something that we're definitely working on doing more of. We need some uh, work on it. We're not very good at how-to videos, but we're trying. So basically, in today's video, we are making a flogger. We're going to show you guys how we made our makeshift floggers from the St. Lawrence series. If you haven't seen the St. Lawrence series, I'll link three parts down below. Go check them out. We get on some bedding smallmouth, which is exactly why we're making these floggers. Basically, we a bunch of us from college got together, went up to the St. Lawrence River, went to do some bed fishing and realized that it was very difficult to do. Uh, it makes it 10 times easier if you have a flogger. They were all sold out, couldn't get them anywhere. So we decided to do a little project, go to Lowe's and try to make our own. If you're not familiar with what a flogger is, basically it is just um, it's just a cone, a bucket with a lens on it. You stick it down in the water, the lens goes underneath the water. And what this allows you to do is reduce the glare that you see on top of the water. So you stick it down, look through it, and it takes the glare away. So somewhere like the St. Lawrence where the visibility is 20 plus feet of clarity in some areas, you can stick that bucket in the water, the flogger in the water, and you could see down and see the smallmouth on their beds and um, be able to cast to them, be able to tell when they ate it, be able to tell where you need to move your lure. So what we did is we got off the water a little early day two, went to Lowe's. And uh, in terms of material list, all we did was buy a Lowe's bucket with a lid, some plexiglass. We had them cut a piece of plexiglass for us. Uh, we got silicone, super glue, and a silicone gun to make these. So... Stay tuned. We're going to get into it right now. Show you guys how to do it. Like I said, this is no by no means a great how-to video. It was kind of just a fun little project to see if we can come up with something that we could replace a flogger with. Luckily now, it's time of editing this video. We all have floggers. We all just went out and bought them. They're $115. I'll link them down below. This was kind of like the poor man's way of doing it. We had no power tools. We were in an Airbnb. Just went out to see if we can just buy some materials and throw something together. Make it work. I'll spoil it right now. I'll show some footage at the end of this video. It did do its purpose. It did its job. So if you're going up for one day or two days and you live really far away and you don't plan on using this all the time, maybe it's something you'll want to try out. But if you plan on doing this type of fishing all the time, I would definitely suggest just spending the money and buying the flogger. It's worth it. So that's it. Let's get into on uh, how we made our do-it-yourself vlogger. You got the stuff. So I'll mark it like this, and then I'll just add a little bit and cut it like there. Plus, we get to do it twice. So whatever we mess up the first time, we fix on the second one. Do you have two pieces that size? Mm-hmm. Dips on the second one. <laughs> so what we decided to do, instead of paying $115 for a flogger, link in the description below, we said, hey Lowe's, what doing? And we said, all right, buckets are basically floggers, or cones for that matter. And then we went on a random hunt for all of the different supplies that you would need. So we have plexiglass, glass, buckets, and your goggles, silicone, and caulk. Do you have a... And everything else is going to... What work. are we going to cut the plastic with on the bucket? Snips. How are you going to... Stab. Cut. cut. Roofer. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just like putting a downspout into a gutter. <laughs> so we basically figured out today that we suck. That's smallmouth bed fishing. Fake news. Okay, well, I mean, we caught 18 pounds today, this morning, but we figured out that they're in 15 to 20 feet of water, the big ones. Yeah, we had big pike dreams, and <laughs> that trumped catching giant smallmouth. Yep. So, to easily catch 15, 20 feet. You need to be able to say, Claire, go away, and then look in your bucket. Yes. So if you, if you take it and go here, you'll be able to see the smallmouth in like 20 foot of water. I hope. And since everyone has sold out of floggers and we can't order them. Big reveal. We bought plexiglass. It just broke. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Lowe's bucket. Uh, because we're doing it right. Do it right way. 
basically we're going to, we had them cut the plexiglass, going to cut a hole, put the plexiglass in the bottom of the Lowe's bucket, put the lid on, cut a hole in the lid, put goggles through the lid, close and makeshift vlogger. Vlogger. I'm just making the line and then... More of a plogger. Plogger? A poor man's watch flogger. Oh! Okay, so now I will cut here. Big roofing guy. Here. Oh god. Here. And here. <clears throat> and then that will be glass. Agree? Agree. Concur? Go. Yes. Do the things. Step. Oh! Damn it, Ryan! <laughs> Why did you do that? You cracked it all the way over here. Shh, we fix. <laughs> oh my god. I could have told you that was going to happen. Shh. No wonder why Larry's always disappointed. He you puts know? it above his head and just drops it. <laughs> it's not a Home Depot bucket. You can't do these things. Shh. It's okay. We have silicone. We can fix it. Exactly. We will fix it. <laughs> That's yours. I've got a screwdriver and a hammer in that toolbox out there. Punch the holes in the bottom and get started. That might be a little bit easier. Yeah, that would have worked. <laughs> yeah, that we just, would have worked better because Ryan split it. Split it. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, fix it with silicone. We got silicone. We got duct tape. We got crack here, crack here, and we'll fix it. Well, you want to. You have a lighter? Mm. Lighter, yeah. Well, yeah, let's light it. Huh? Well, it's not the hole. So, should have brought some flex seal. Okay, <coughs> So that's one. I think if you do it the way Lou just did it, instead of putting that's it over force. your putting it over your head and slamming the snips into the bottom of the bucket, that definitely works better. Yeah, that's good. Bucket. That one's ours. So this is the leak in the roof, huh? Oh yeah, but all leaks. <laughs> All these Never have a box <laughs> through my roof. <laughs> Looks like you need a little more trimming, huh? Yeah. This is nice. On the deck side. So basically, took the plexiglass, cut it out to fit in the bottom. And Ryan traces it out. And then doesn't brutally hit it with the snips. True. Trial and error. Mm-hmm. Life's all about learning. I'm not going to. There's a guy. Don't cut yourself. We'll get more views. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's made first contact. Definitely the better way to do it. You're cutting the wrong way. False. Small mouth, you are not safe. That's what it's gonna be. The glue and the silicone will fill the holes. Yeah, I mean that's the whole purpose. We of have silicone. two tubes of it. If we have to coat the whole thing, we will. <laughs> okay. We're very use the clipper. You need a knife to cut that tip with? No, oh, no, you got your snips. Snips. Snip, snip, snip. If you're a carpenter, all problems can be solved by a hammer. Too much. If you're a roofer, all problems can be solved with a pair of snips. Snips and silicone. Now you got to poke that open, don't you? Yep, and there's no poker on the $3 cocktail. <laughs> How about this? No. Construction needs Opinion. Needs Let's do the cracked one first to yes. see if all the things work. Then we'll do that. And you're going to put it on the inside or the outside? Inside. inside. Clear. Clear. Can you see me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta get the nose hole out because you're gonna smell butthole the whole time you're looking for a small mouth. Well, you can trim that off. He's got snips. Why would you? <laughs> gonna be tiny pieces of plexiglass everywhere. You'll, You'll have, have that on these big jobs. jobs. Yes. Oh, zing. Just his turn. 
we're fine tuning right now. Oh, perfect. I'm probably on the outside. What are you doing? So for the crack, I'm gonna say glue other piece of scrap plexiglass. Oh, to fix it. To fix it. And then silicone around it, call it a roof patch. I'm just working with. We need to put glue and then... Just do the inside and the outside. Inside, set it till it holds. And then seal the outside. With silicone. Yes. And the and the inside. Okay, so we'll do next here, here, here. Do you here. put silicone on the plexiglass or the bucket? Both. Because we're gonna use the adhesive first to hold it down. Right. Fill the holes. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I mean to put the plexiglass on. Right. No, oh, you won't be able to. Probably gonna. Put you won't the, be able to maneuver it. No, we'll put the adhesive on the bucket. Yeah. And then line it up and push down. Uh, it's okay. We're good. You sure? Yeah. I got it. It's just upstairs. Go for it. We'll do it for the second one. That's a pretty decent amount of glue. Three, two, one. Oh, this is going to work. <laughs> what do you think? Well, get the goggles off. <laughs> Safety first. Okay. So oh, God. There's, there's so many fumes, it's like Matt's boat. Ah! Oh, Phoenix, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it should be instant. Did it work? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, do the same, well, put it back in, flip it back up, and I'll wipe it with the newspaper. Mm, mm -mm. Hold and put pressure. Put pressure on the plexiglass. Yeah. Oh god, it's not moving. <laughs> I don't know, you might want to cut the nose thing on here because you're just going to get high off these fumes. There it's going to fall in. Pass out and just head first. <laughs> Yeah, we got a... Ryan's staring at the small yeah, mouth. Jesso, did he eat it? Jesso! Jesso, did he eat it? Jesso? What the... Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, definitely need a weight on this. I got a paint can, I Will it fit? Oh, lucky. Test. Yes. <laughs> Paper. Newspaper. Wait. Newspaper. T-shirt. W. -A why not just w -A another piece of? Why not another piece of New plastic? Paper. Double kills if we ruin his retro sim shirt. Is there? If Place in oven 350 for 20 minutes. <laughs> How was your time? Okay, we didn't Did you buy two masks. Yes. Yes, we didn't talk much about the lid. How are we gonna do this? So cold. Just trace, stick. Well, actually, put it, cut it for this one because this is a wider lip. Just shove it through because all this will fold out, and then silicone around the outside. As long as you have your little handle on here, it's not gonna fall away. Oh god. I mean this one doesn't have to be watertight, just has to stay there. Yeah. Duct tape. <laughs> yes. Like duct tape around the edges onto here. We'll glue it, then duct tape. I think it's duct tape. You think? I, I'm, I'm, th I'm really, really hard up about trace, cut the inside, shove up. And then right. Face. Okay. Because then your so, hole, it'll, it'll be basically one big piece. So flimsy. I'm just gonna split it in half. Casually stabs. <laughs> oh, much easier than the bucket. <laughs> Yay, rubber. You got it. <laughs> Did it cut pretty easily? Oh yeah, perfect. So easy. Well, you're allowed to use these. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, but how you, oh, I see. You 100% look like the dinosaur from Jurassic Park. <laughs> it kind of worked. <laughs> yeah, because your nose is fine. Yeah. It kind of worked. Incredible. All right. Oh, you're going to have to. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> And it's off now. Oh, now we're going to duct tape the top now because you need this open probably. Yeah. So just... And it fogs up a little bit, so we might just cut the center out. I don't think you should look okay. We'll put some holes in the yeah, side of the mask. Smallies, where you at? It's going to work. This whole thing's going to work. It will. Trust it will. Trust it will. It will. Okay, tape. Yes. Um, you want to put a piece on the inside to hold it there? <sighs> And then we'll tape it and then we'll determine we determine if we want to take these off or not. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. So you want a knife to cut that one. Safe. We're good. A red and green site. <laughs> <laughs> this is very do you have a piece on the back too? So yeah, we don't get well, on We're still guys. gonna wrap this side of the tape. <laughs> Now this is the light blocking mm -hmm. tape portion. So, knife. I'm just gonna let that be out for you. This is how you put a piece of rubber around something that's round. <laughs> right. Yay, roofer. We're leaving the corners. It's pretty good there. And then here. Do you get the one, do you like this knife blade? I don't know, that's the shortest one. I figure if we're going to screw one up. Okay. <laughs> I, you know. Instagram post, win in Rome. <laughs> no, Instagram post with the giant. <laughs> no, Instagram post, at Tackle Warehouse. Please <laughs> get floggers in stock. <laughs> <laughs> I think. What would you do for a dirty 30? Oh, perfect. It's right there. Here, wait. Oh, God. Fit, lid. There we go. Whatever, we'll fit it when it's on. No, it's gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> It's so heavy. <laughs> we need to fashion a strap that holds this. Or just take it off. No, this is this is how you have to fish for the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, the lid's gonna fall off. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is gonna work. <laughs> It is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog with one of those. We we're gonna stop at Petco and get one of those Picone machines. Brandon Polnick video. <laughs> That's really good cutting for a brand. <laughs> what kind of bucket you got? Loaves. <laughs> <laughs> Do it all Do it right. right. <laughs> Wait. Very dark too. Good. Yes. That's what we want. Oh yeah, that'll work. That's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna work. They're gonna scare the shit out of those bass. They're gonna feed them. <laughs> Just poke his head down. Whoa! <laughs> I use the title you're, of engineer like more today than I have in my job. Yeah. You're, you're like a Scooby-Doo like villain. This is awesome. <laughs> the fumes are bad. The fumes are bad. Oh, watch. That's definitely going in the video. I like this because they look like puppets. Silicone, silicone, silicone. <laughs> oh. Up oh. voice over here. <laughs> Looks like you're right good. on the knuckle. Stop. I went on Tackle Warehouse because I was going to buy one anyway. Sold out. 
Oh, were they? Yeah. They come in stock January, June 26th, it says. The problem with buying one, like, I don't have $100 what? just, like, laying around to fuck uh, off with. Mm -hmm. So, like, right huh. now, I'm all about <laughs> buying one. Yeah, but when, when am I going to use it again? It doesn't hit the spit. It really, like, sticks. Damn. Yeah, so See, I'm that's not going to use it until next year. Usually so, it just sticks. Yeah, the, the way I think about it is this is the only place in the world that I would use it. Bucket. I think I'd also consider using it on like other really clear bodies of water like Cuca. Jordan Lake. No. I don't know. No brand. Um <laughs> Takla is super clear in the spring when they spawn. Like any of these New York lakes you can use it on, but like living in Pennsylvania having a flogger is a weird thing to do. It's like It's like, hey, I'm gonna look into Sayers. Oh, it's as muddy as I thought it was. <laughs> okay, I guess you could use it on Ray Ray. Nobody touch. Silicone applied. How long has that got a cure for? Uh, eight hours. Night. For the night. Exposure to water possible in as little as 30 minutes. Tonight. So you want to do call Audible and just say either they both work or they don't work? Yes. Yes. Bye, Costas. Ew. How's it feel? Feels chintzy, but I think the silicone might do its job. Finally, something from Lowe's that does its job. Whoa! Hashtag not getting sponsored by Lowe's. <laughs> Hate Lowe's. I, I told Ryan, he's like, oh yeah, I, I bet you this guy, I have faith in the workers at Lowe's. I bet you they can cut this into a circle. He said, you've already lost. <laughs> Never had faith no. in Lowe's. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. Does he have it? I can't sure. tell. Zoob. <laughs> That's what was happening today when it started getting windy with, uh... Okay. Do it. Okay. <laughs> the Peep Show V1. Hopefully it doesn't explode when I put my face in the water tomorrow. <laughs> if you, if I go down in here, poof, <laughs> <laughs> That'll be so much fun. He's like, yeah, he's right. It's definitely gonna blow right in my face. He's gonna get excited when he's like eating it. He's gonna be like, he's got that fucking. Push down. Push down. Watch your butter wake. No. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> Let him cure overnight. Go catch 25 pounds tomorrow. Big perch. End the video with how they made out. Mm hmm. I guess that'll determine if it's worth doing or not. Yep. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll do it again and do it the right way. This is no tools version. So if you're poor, <laughs> do it this way. Do it okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not poor, go to Home Depot, get a drill. No, 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 no. Do it the right way. If you're not poor, <laughs> spend $115 on a flogger. Isn't that Home Depot's um, do it the right way? Mm, what's their slogan? Home Depot. Don't be poor. <laughs> get her done. <laughs> The depot. Oh, she had it. She must have back, bought the bit the back end. She's hungry as or not she's pissed, so keep doing that. Whatever wherever you just cast, just do that again. Okay. Oh, set it. Oh my god! Told you. Round two is over. Boom, the reveal. fight is over. Big reveal! Down the fight crazy. is over. Well, guys, I would call the flogger a success. A couple modifications, but for doing it with no tools on the fly and just getting a couple things from Lowe's. One thing we definitely learned was to put 
a throwable or something on the side so your chest isn't killing you leaning you over. It's not long enough. It works, but it would work a lot better if there was one more bucket attached to it to make it a little bit longer so you don't have to lean so far over the boat. But it definitely helped see a pile of fish, I bet, and see the bottom a lot better than we have been able to the past two days. So I would say it definitely did its job. Uh, what do you think, Ryan? How did you think it worked out? You know, we made it at home. It would have came out a lot better. But on the fly, buying stuff from Lowe's and making it an Airbnb basement, I'm satisfied. Did its job. Definitely did its job. I'm happy with it. Do it all right. <laughs> no, this one's do it okay. It's all out. Oh, version one. Do it okay. The Peep Show V1. <clears throat> so, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I know it was something different, a little bit cooler. We've never built a flogger before, and definitely thought it'd be cool. That's why we got it off. Caught a lot more fish because of it, and I know a lot of the guys around us. We're catching them. We tried to order one before we came up here and Tack Warehouse was out of stock and kind of had the feeling that we might need it, but just kind of sent it anyway, hoping we can get away without it. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or if you just liked it in general, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Check out, I'm going to leave in the description below a link to our three, maybe four day, four part series of the St. Law where we use this thing. And uh, day three is going to have most of the footage from us using it with that five pounder. So you can go click that below, check those videos out. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode of the Super Bass Bros. Thanks for watching.